friends, I'm on the way to the clinic. Here at the micronutrients, so I will give some more update to all of you later. Hello, good morning. Hi, Cheryl. Yes. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good. Yes. So. Life is start start uh, beginning back to normal now. <laughs> so where I will go? Um, all the way to the back. To the first row. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So I'm here now, friend. Hi, Chris. Good. So I'm here, friends, in the clinic. So. Cheryl, let me get you started. I got 40 grams of vitamin C for you. Yes. You so, can sit wherever you like. Yes, I will sit down here. Because here, I get used to it now with this kind of chair. <laughs> yeah, you, you sit wherever you want. This is you, okay. Which one would you like for me to use? Oh, yeah, the right one. Right one, you got it. Yeah. Just steady here. <laughs> All right. Look, I gave a uh, time to heal up, and now look. It's yeah, better. With all, but some is still a little bit black. How are you feeling? Yeah, so far, I'm, I'm strong. Good. Very good. I'm strong. I like that. You know, yeah. And for the two weeks, I don't have uh, side effects anymore. Nice. Uh, so I will just continue that, this uh, IV. Okay. Yeah, okay. so. Whatever's working. Yeah. Whatever works. I don't care what it is. As long as yeah. it's working for you. Okay. Yeah, that's good for the heart. Yeah. Good for the brain. Right. This is my favorite nurse here, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here again for intravenous. That's 40 grams of vitamin C. I forgot my water case. I will ask a favor to give me some water. Deep breath. Deep breath. All done. Yeah, this is nice. One stroke. <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> yeah. Just the way it should be. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. The view here in the clinic, I am by myself here. I'm alone. <laughs> so, I'm alone here, friends, today. So, I guess, uh, I don't know, or I may, maybe I'm still early. So, but I saw a lot of, look, IVs already hanging. Look, the one and the other two, they're a tiny bottle. So, there's a one IV, uh, there's a vitamin C also. And there's another bottle there. Look, uh, where is it? There's another bottle there. Look, that one. This one, so, so maybe I'm still early, friends. So today, uh, because this I will have two therapy today. I will get this uh, vitamin C, 40 grams. Uh, that um, is very helpful, friend, for me. Uh, 
recovering my body fast, uh, building my immune system. So it's, it helps a lot. So as per as per requirements, also my doctor in California, I need to maintain uh, vitamin C uh, in order for my body not to shut down. I mean, not to get weak. I mean, and or for short, sure, need to keep uh, my strength every day. So that's a very that's a good news friend and the beautiful thing uh, my body beginning to I had a feeling I had a feeling that uh, uh, my body uh, beginning uh, uh, I for uh, what do you call it progress start to begin uh, my life uh, back to normal or I mean uh, uh, having some progress every day so because for the past two weeks i'm not dealing with the side effects anymore so as if all of you notice um, i don't have blood i don't have blood i did not make videos for past two weeks uh, i focus on i focus on my on my health observing studying so because i'm taking some oral pills so since uh, for the first two weeks of medi uh, medications, I'm dealing with all the side effects. So, but so as on the third week I started, so that's why I did not make a blog. I mean, so what I did, I had uh, five oral pills that's all hard, high dosage. So what I did, I took it, I study every day until I. I I come to the I came to the point that uh, I figure out to not to take it in one setting. So I took the first one, um, uh, and then after that, uh, the the other uh, uh, receptor because I had two androgen receptor. So I alternate every one hour or two hours. So like this, I came over here. I did not take any any one vitamins yet. So um, I will let this IV finish. So when I get back home, that's the time I start taking uh, my oral pills. So so that's a beautiful thing, friend. So uh, there's a strong progress. There's a strong progress. So and for the two weeks, uh, I'm just praying. I'm praying for my doctor in California. Because uh, uh, when I left there in California, he told me, he gave me an order of ultrasound and CT scan. So, for the past two weeks, friend, um, what I say, um, I just uh, praying, praying for my doctor also, as I told you. Uh, because when I left there in California, he gave me an order of ultrasound and... CT scan so I keep eye friend on my IV because sometimes it is stopped so for the two weeks uh, he cannot he may email me that he said that uh, I prefer for you to hold the ultrasound and the CT scan so it makes me confused so because he said that um, I prefer for you to make a PET scan so I said, okay, PET scan. So, but by the time, for two weeks, he did not send an order. So I'm just praying to guide him also. I said, Lord, Jesus, I leave all this into your hand because uh, he's just a human, you know. He's, he's a doctor. He's just a human. And after he a series of questions, he asked me a lot of questions. Uh, how you feel? How I feel? How's my thyroid mass? I had a thyroid mass here. I said, if it's still tender. So I said, Doc, it's still, uh, I cannot determine if it's still shrinking down, but I, uh, I guess it's still, um, it's very tender. So I told him it's very tender. So he said, okay. So then, then by the time, so he said, I will just order a PET scan. But actually he told me, that the pet is kind probably by after four months or three months so he said that so for the two weeks i just uh, focus on praying and 
studying everything. I'm read my Bible, knowing God deeper and deeper because you know, uh, there's still uh, I believe I my faith that God is bigger than the disease I have. That that uh, I had a, a healer, you know. I I try. I, it's not that it's not that I did not trust my doctor. I trust my doctor, but uh, you know, I, uh, since I'm a believer, I trust more on God healing. So because of, of so many circumstances in my life, uh, I came in out in the hospital, a lot of laboratories, you know, friend, if you focus on that, if you focus on what the result, what you read, you know, if you focus on what the doctors say, say or what I heard, I will be insane, you know. So for the many months past, so I focus on God searching, uh, soul healing. So, you know, that's, uh, I believe, and uh, that's where my faith focus on. And uh, that Jesus is my best hel healer above all these things going on. So, because, um, you know, God's performed a lot of miracles in my life. Uh, for many years, God, uh, so, for three years more that uh, my surgery was canceled, uh, and that uh, the old doctors believe it's benign, but it came out it's not benign. The all uh, more than four pounds of cancer tumor that they uh, they, they removed from my body, and and they all shocked. All my doctors were shocked by the time they are all surprised. Almost fifteen doctors visit me that morning in the hospital, and the three hour surgery came out eight hour surgery. So. I leave it all now to God, friends, because I cannot control everything. It's out of my control, and it's out of the control of my doctor. So, with all that, with all that past time, I just keep praying that hold on for a while. So, but God proved a miracle to me that He controlled the four pounds of cancer tumor not to spread in my body, or not to spread in other organ, especially the right ovary that. All my doctors saying, your surgeon should remove this. My doctor here in my states, California, Mexico, all the doctors say they should remove your ovary because that uterine cancer is uh, uterine cancer is very aggressive, so it travels fast. So by the time, by the time, I, uh, me and my husband, my family, my brother, sister were praying. And while we're raising that fan, all all I my pray is control. So God answered my prayer that time to control the spread. So until that uh, it was controlled, then that I'm so very thankful then because uh, like this ultrasound, the CT scan came out, uh, the cancer did not spread in the other organ of my body. So, because uh, uterine cancer with is uh, metastasized uh, already, so or with lung metastasis, so uh, I it called lit lung metastasis because uh, God put me peanut size of tumor on my lungs, or three mustard seed size, 1.2 cm on my lungs. I don't know for what reason, maybe to taste to test my feet this time. So, you know, to test my faith. But, so I keep my faith strong. I believe that he will still control and remove this tumor in my body. Despite the fact all the results came out, whatever it is, it is, whatever it is, whatever the doctor says. So we're just praying. I trust my doctor also, but I trust more the word of God. The pro his promise to me that I will be healed. So, so far, friends, for, for, for many months of, after my medications, after my treatment, even though I continue my therapy this time, I had a feeling of progress and a strong, uh, strong progress, a strong progress already. And I continue praying for miracle for my thyroid mice because I don't have medicine for this right now. So far, continue, you know, whatever God's will, I leave it to Him. Uh, as long as I just follow the right 
the right protocol like uh, I just keep my uh, my diet proper the nutritional diet I ate properly and I I I stick to 118 pounds. I stick to 118 pounds. And I'm beginning a strong progress when I had a feeling. I had a feeling I had a beginning strong progress now. So as uh is a big it's a big uh it's a big miracle already for me for because friend when I came here over here last uh, two weeks ago here in the clinic also there's a patient here who had a uterine cancer, same with me, and she uh, she was in a one year already, and uh, and it's pretty sad because the doctor, the oncologist here, uh, gave he her a uh, five rounds of chemotherapy. So, but after five rounds, the tumor did not melted down or did not shrink that's for short and they found out bec uh, it's not the drugs that they gave to her it's not uh, it's not the it's not the right drugs so she had uterine cancer but the drugs that the doctor gave to her is for ovarian cancer so it's pretty sad because she had five rounds of chemotherapy already passed last year. Then after four months or three months or five rounds of chemotherapy since the tumor did not melt it down, the oncologist undergo a, a, a series of scan. Then they found out it's her uterine. It's her uterus for a tumor. So she did a hysterectomy also. So last year, so last June, but from June to present until last week, I met her here. She said she's raising three thousand dollar for the medicine that she need to take, and up uh, uh, I mean uh, right for that uh, perfect for that uterine cancer. And when I found out, it's the same with me. Her oncologist prescribed her the same the medicine and taking the tumor blocker and it's pretty sad because she need to raise three thousand dollar to so she can get that medicine that's the cost of the medicine for one month supply it's three thousand dollar so you know it's pretty sad so but uh, I, so I told her if I can just ever if I can just share to you the, my medicine I will share it to you but cannot be because your friend is very strict so it's counted per day so that's my supply also so i'm just so thankful friend that god continue to provide provide everything i need uh, so so you know even though this alternative treatment is not shouldered by my by my insurance but god continue to provide to pay for this you know so this will be a while, friend, I guess, two hours, but it, it drop, the grip is very fast, so. I drink already, friend, a tiny bottle of water because I forgot my water. <laughs> so, this vitamin C, friend, you need to drink uh, a lot of water because this, make, this will make you thirsty. Yeah, you will feel very thirsty of this. So I keep my body hydrated. So I need to put, I need to drink a lot of water. I'm done now, friends. With the, I'm done now with the IV. So I'm throwing this. Here is Antonio. So I'm looking for the nurse. I'm done with the IV friends, so I'm looking for the nurse practitioner. <laughs> yes, I don't know. because I will have my hyperbaric next. So I'm looking for him. So I'm here, friend, and then now. Uh, I'm here. I'm 
I'm here, friends, in hyperbaric oxygen again. So, I'm here in a big chamber. <laughs> I'm in hyperbaric oxygen chamber. So, it's a very big chamber, friend. Now, look. There's a uh, There's a big two, big, big two windows here. And I had my radio here. I had my radio here. So, I'll be here for one hour. You know, the benefits of this friend is to keep yourself, your body oxygenated. So it helps a lot, if, especially if you had a wound, uh, if you had like me, I just got my vitamin C and I had a surgery. It helps my wound heal up quickly because it uh, gives uh, oxygen. You know, your body will heal up if your body, all your system, functioning well uh, uh, the circulatory system uh, I will regulate very well so I keep it oxygenated to heal up uh, quick so and for sure a progress of healing so it helps me very quick friends so plus I just had a vitamin C so it will push my oxygen all every corner from head to toes so it gives a balance to every parts of my body so that's a part of healing progress also friends so I'll be here for one hour then I'll be right back to all of you later so here's the parts that I had here there's oxygen coming out here friends and there's oxygen, so everything, so I'll be right back. My ears friends, a little bit congested, so I just swallow <laughs> to keep my to keep my ears open. Just swallow so it will open up. So yeah, you will feel congested here because the feeling once during the inflation you will feel like taking off the plane, if you had experience in the airplane, the pressure will keep your ears congested, so that's how, because it's pressurized oxygen chamber, it's a chamber with high ox pressure of oxygen, so every oxygen, all oxygen will enter to every, to all of the pores, to my body parts from head to toe, so that's the benefits also of this thing, so I just keep swallowing, so, but now it's open now, my ears open up now. And I'm done now with the hyperbaric here. So, the, the technician deflating now the oxygen. Removing now the pressure of the chamber. So, I feel asleep. <laughs> I feel asleep for one hour. I, I guess 40 minutes. I can feel again that my ears congested. Oh. That's it, friend. Feel good. I feel sleepy. Hello, 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 friends. I'm home now today. So I just came from my therapy. I, I'm pretty strong, friend, because I, I took a nap, a short nap inside the chamber also. So I'm home. I will prepare this for our dinner look at friend the acorn squash here uh, so we bought this at El Super last uh, three days ago so it cost uh, it's not expensive here friend you know the vegetables here are so cheap this is 1.9 pounds I saw it here a while ago So it's 1.15 pounds here for a cost of 79 cents. Look, uh, that's 79 cents. So 69 cents per pound. That's the price of this squash. So I'm thinking to cook this in the coconut milk because I never, I miss uh, eating this in a coconut milk. It looks very masapug. I don't know. In, it's in Filipino, masapug. <laughs> So, uh, I'll break back to all of you. Look at friends, so it's thick. So, look. 
got friends da da ay this is uh, the coconut milk I put in a freezer friends almost a couple of weeks You can friends, you can tell that squash is good. The person who will eat this squash is only two people. <laughs> it's only one, uh, one point fifteen pounds, so not even half kilos, not even half kilograms. So, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. So, I miss eating this squash. This is an acorn squash food, and it's so yum yum. And I go, I put garlic and onions for pole onions i will cover friends so there is a lot of cooking almost done now friends that is a squash with coconut milk i cook in coconut milk onions uh, garlic and sereno pepper so almost done this is so yummy I had two pieces of fish fillet here. I will fry this in avocado oil. So. So. Avocado oil, friend, because you don't need a lot of even though the the heat rise up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It uh, there's there will be no burning smoke so. At the same time, the nutritional value, the fat value content did not change. So we keep the avocado oil in frying everything. So look, you don't need a lot of oil, just I guess it's two spoon. <laughs> so I add a little bit because it's two pieces. Squash that I cook. So that's uh, perfect for the two of us. <laughs> it's only one pound in one and fifteen pounds, so that's only good for one meal. So, and I'm frying also fish. So look, fish fillet with rice. I cook this squash pan in a coconut milk with the uh, garlic. Uh, purple onions and sereno pepper and I put some salt on it so there will be a, a taste and I'm fine this that this will be our dinner for today for me and my hubby hello friends this will be my lunch and dinner because it's almost four o'clock so look I had a rice here on the side and two pieces of pork meat bones there's a bones it's this is a bone i choose friend uh me, pork meat with bones because there's not a lot of fats then it's only two pieces i cook this this morning in a soy sauce for with garlic a lot of garlic on it and uh uh basil leaves then i had a fried fish here and uh, is squash, a corn is squash cooked and coconut milk with onions and garlic. So, this will be my yummy, yummy lunch and dinner. Hello, friends. I'm preparing also some green juice as part of my diet. I had my celery here, one piece of a cucumber, and one type of spinach. So, this is part of my diet, friends. So, I cannot just. Uh, let the day pass not drinking my green juice so hold on friends so i will i can pre i will prepare my ju juice now so i'm preparing my pants
I guess I guess when this is almost uh, one pound of celery so I prefer to make it a juice instead of putting in a blender because it's very hard and it's a lot you know? Friends, uh, aside from the spinach uh, that I showed to you, and lettuce, I sorry. Friends, uh, I'm aside from the cucumber, spinach, and the uh, celery that I put on my juicer. I'm adding, friend, a cilantro. This is cilantro luck. So, I will put this also in the juicer. Yeah, it's because it's very healthy. It's very, it's, a, it's a antioxidant also. It's clean up my colon, you know. So it's an anti-cancer also. It's a part of greens. Then another one that is very anti, very high nutritional value. And anti-cancer is carrots, high beta-carotene. So I cannot chew all this or put this in a blender. So I prefer to put it in a juicer. Look, it's very strong now. That's the uh, celery and the cucumber I put in there. So, so it's a combination of five veggies, friend. This is the celery. I the excuse me, sorry, friend. This is the cilantro, friend. So,
look at friends I the juice I got from the five veggies the celery the cucumber and the spinach and cilantro and the carrots look it's a lot this will be this will last for me for about two two days so let's look uh, before I will end up this video I, first and foremost I want to thank God thank you Jesus for the peace of mind for giving me strength for restoring me for bringing me back start to add the big uh, the feeling of uh, putting my life back to normal so, because uh, you know friend even though I'm not yet in a remission I'm thanking for him now I'm thanking him I'm not in a remission yet but uh, with all the strength with uh, moving every day number one is the peace of mind that I need sleeping very quietly is very important also so I don't have any side effects no pain everything just thanking God thank you Jesus for that and to all of you my prayers grow groups wherever you are especially to my church to my pastor Dr. Ivy Wheeler thank you so much to all the elders and members of the church so continue praying for me to my families uh, friends and relatives thank you to all of you soon I will be declared free but I'm, wait, I'm waiting patiently for it so just keep on following my blog to get some more updates about uh, my daily life as a cancer patient then please subscribe and continue to watch on it so you will know what's going on so that's all for now and thank you to all of you god bless see you in my next blog